President Tinubu's son, she says, the president Nigerians had been yearning for is here. The Daily Post a newspaper report that Shei Tinubu, son of President Bola, Ahmed Tinubu, has said that his father is the president Nigerians had been yearning for. Shei said this in a video message which had gone viral on social media. His statement comes amid the biting economic hardship occasioned by his father's removal of petrol subsidy on the assumption of office, but he insisted that his father will not disappoint Nigerians. Despite the monumental increase in the pump price of petrol and the attendant hardship, the president's son urged Nigerians to keep faith with his father to deliver on the renewed hope mandate. He said, I want to thank you for the faith you have in our president and I guarantee you President Sajid Balame Tinubu will not fail. Nigeria, the hope we have been looking and hoping for is here. The president that we've all wanted is here. The Tinubu presidency would perhaps mark the first time in Nigeria's checkered political history that the son of the president would be so prominently involved and vocal about his father's politics. Whether this is a good or bad development, it remains to be seen as only time will tell. Yeah, and I think, you know, we should be fair in how we sort of judge the family. Because in a lot of families, let us be very honest, if a lot of families had the position that they had, most likely you would want to involve your children, your wife, and to be in that space as well. And that in itself as a thought and as an intent is okay. It's just then what these individuals do. And of course, being under one name that is not necessarily liked and the favorite makes people negative and less receptive to what he's saying because right now obviously you would not be surprised that there are people who are saying this son should shut up and go and do something else because if your father is this then who are you right um so it's it's now bigger judgment rather than just tinubu alone but tinubu's family his son coming out to speak but then obviously you know we're judging his father we're judging him we're judging the family we're judging his wife it's crazy you know it's it's crazy and then someone else says, tell your dad to get all four crude oil refineries on stream and wait another six months. Economy will cascade to normal. Another person says, God forbid. Well, at the end of the day, time will only tell. Um, but <clears throat> I personally don't. In terms of judging how Tinubu is doing, I think time will tell. Absolutely. Mm. But... We can't time will tell our way into a bad outcome and be surprised. It's good to be prepared. And I think that, um, you know, from everything we needed to know about Tinubu and how the presidency would go, honestly, is from the elections, pre-elections and the campaign season. And if APC is going to do well, it would be because they winged it, they didn't plan it, right? And things just worked out in their favor, if they should do well. Because with them as a system, political party and its representatives, especially as they have their president, they, they don't look like people that plan. Look at the fuel subsidy, right? This table on the first of inauguration planned to, you know, remove um, subsidy, but did not plan to appoint all his cabinet members well in time so he can start work immediately. So what does that give you, right? Being unplanned, being unprepared um, is a sign that we have seen. And if things happen like that, drastic things, because his intention is, you know, I don't know what his intention is. His intentions may be right. His intentions may be the best thing in the long run. His intentions, you know, may also be the best thing in the short run. But it is planning and being thoughtful, right? Because you can't tell me, even logically, if you remove subsidy, the essence of a subsidy is to keep prices low. So if you're going to have an, a hike in prices... At least, even inform Nigerians, right? Give them time to prepare themselves. Or, as people have said, find a way to 
mitigate the effect because the effect directly is fuel in high prices and um, high in fuel prices if you thought of that then you understand wow fuel is important that means it will cause a ripple effect on other prices how do we cut the solution right if you think that oh you don't have a solution for it then maybe you haven't planned out the decision and maybe you shouldn't take that decision because you haven't thoughtfully planned around it because if the risk and the damage will be high for making a decision, then why make the decision in the first place? Because maybe if you had seen, you know what, we need to find another way, right? To make our system accountable, to keep prices low, but also encourage standard of living. It's also opportunity cost or, you know, what are we going to give up? So the fact that Tinubu decided to give up the the standard living or the survivable living of nigerians just because he wanted to remove subsidy and whatever his intentions were then shows that you know I, I, when priorities lie then then the well-being of nigerians is not a priority to him because if it was maybe he wouldn't have made a decision in a hasty way or would have planned a better way to achieve because in my head i really don't see what the essence of removing the subsidy would be if the essence was to monitor funds and you know mitigate corruption you didn't have to remove subsidy you might have just well set a budget and stick to it so again Tinubu has not said the essence of why he's removing subsidy and also because the people are very much more involved in politics again the proof is obviously in our elections if there is communication as to what his intentions are. It's, it's obviously very hard that he's not liked as much as well. He's not liked. He's served. He has people who are fake around him and who wants benefits from being close to him. But he's not genuinely liked. Peter B is actually liked. And, I'm, and let us be fair. You know, human psychology. If the same thing happened in Peter B's, um, what do you call it, administration. And Peter B, I think he also said he was planning to remove subsidy. Things will be hard, but I don't think the reaction will be as harsh. I think the harshest of reactions will come from political opponents. But for because... um, What's his name? Peter B has actually built a habit of always communicating. It's expected that most likely Peter B will probably even give the reason why. So Nigerians are not just thinking, are we just suffering for nothing? Why did you remove this? What are you going to do? Nigerians have already been prone to trust him. To be fair, whatever he said about Peter B, he played his cards right. The system just did not favor him. But come on, he played his cards very right. And if Peter B was to mess up Nigerians, he will, he, he easily could. Let's be honest. Put our comments in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe.